Hello everyone, ebomb113 here with another custom uh, mega block creation. This is my Covenant anti-air battery, I guess. I don't know what to call it yet. It's a big cannon, pretty much. Fires large plasma salvos, I guess. Um, I figure it could be either like a long range mortar or uh, even plasma torpedo. It can uh, direct plasma. Kind of like capital ships if you've read the book books but uh, it's kind of hard to see it all in one angle there it is from the front there it is from the side there it is from the back um, I think I used a Covenant Seraph I got on sale for like $34 at a Burke's outlet store the last place I'd expect to find a Halo Mega Block on clearance or sale uh, considering the original price was like $70 or $80 but uh, I didn't like the model too well, so I took it apart and cannibalized it for parts. And this was one of the main creations I made from it. As you can see, you can see the Seraph head. So one to use. Oh, I recently bought a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set and added something in there. Um, as you can see, ooh, it glows. Make it look like it's firing. Um, three distinct bursts. Then it goes down again. If you all haven't, I'm sure most of you have seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadow sets already. So I just, come on. I can't get it light up anymore. Oh well, but I did have some uh, green looking fuel rod canisters in there, but I thought, hey, if it's a plasma battery, it needs to have plasma like you know, energy, I guess, coming from it, not a fuel rod technology that you see on hunters and can't get that to light up. But pretty much the concept is um, you have to board it from the back. There really, is, I mean, you can shoot it to death with a rocket launcher, but it'd take multiple shots. You pretty much have to board it, open up the hatch, throw a grenade in there, kind of like the Tyrants or the Mantis from Halo Reach and Halo 3. Um... Figure. There's another video I have of a uh, covenant just pieces I have like backdrops and one's like a jammer. I was thinking it could be like a shield generator. Create shield so you have to take that out before you take out this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There it is from the inside. Let's see it from the side. So that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, thank you all for watching. Tell me the this is my second edition. The first one I did, it was really tall and really blocky in through here. And had the fuel rods in the back. So I redesigned it. Made it a little bit more squat. More round on the side. It's not as blocky in the back. Oh, and it can swivel a little bit. Not too much of an angle, but yeah, don't need to for artillery piece. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.